Okay, you ready? McWhorter Custom Rifles presents On this week's show, Denise and I are still in South Africa on safari with Infinito Safaris. We've had the time of our life, but we've still got a few days left, a few more animals on our list to try to hunt. Stay tuned as we conclude our South African safari. Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by McWhorter Custom Rifles, McMillan Fiberglass Stocks, Swarovski Optique, and Extreme Wildlife Adventures. Every new day on safari is full of anticipation and adventure. Our time in South Africa was coming to an end and we were soaking in every last minute we could experience in this beautiful country. Mornings in our safari camp started out with a hearty breakfast before the hunt. Preparations for the hunt ahead were always the topic of conversation. With only a couple of days left on our safari, we still had a few animals left on our wish list. Alan was still in search of a big kudu bull, and I was in search of a gemsbok. Both animals were proving to be difficult to hunt. This morning, we went out for gemsbok hunting. We spotted about 12 of them. Um, they got into the thickets. There's a small little hill down here where I got up to, um, a good advantage point, and I spot them from up there, and. Um, they are feeding. The wind and, and the sun is perfect, so let's see what we can get. Okay, let's go I'm get positive. Them. Oh, this is exciting. Kim's Park, they are beautiful animals. We've gotten up on top of this big rock formation. The wind is good. Well, that was about a 30 minute stand and trying to wait out this Gimsbach that was in, in some thick brush. We could see his head and that was about it. And he just refused to take a step forward until 30 minutes later. And when he did, it was in a run completely. And so we've lost them now. We know the direction they headed, but we're gonna see if we can get back on them. There? Yes. Oh. It's too thick now. Can you see his shoulder, man? His right ears, right underneath his ear.
a beautiful animal. What a fantastic end to almost a full day of stalking these Ginsbuck. I really worked hard. We all did as a team. Um, absolutely amazed at the way this team came together to help retrieve this animal. Um, I don't know how many times we put the stalk on the Ginsbuck and they managed to slip away from us. They finally got a great shot and uh, the McCorder 7 STW really put, put a hurting on this one. And I couldn't be happier with this beautiful Ginsbuck. She was shooting a 195 grain burger at about 3,000 feet a second. Got a board in action, Brooks barrel, and a Swarovski on top. She had it turned way down because real thick brush and had to get a shot right up under the ear was the only shot she had. And uh, she made an excellent shot. He didn't run 50 yards. Well, there was nothing wrong with that shot, ma'am. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. This segment of Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by Borton Accuracy, makers of the most accurate custom hunting actions on the market. Manufactured in the USA to true bench rest tolerances. Borton Accuracy equals success. Pretty cool this morning, about freezing or 30 degrees. Warms up during the day, and this is our eighth day here. We've had a real successful safari, except for on my kudu. <laughs> Denise killed a big bull earlier in the week. We've been chasing one for me here for this is about the fourth day coming, so we don't have but a day left, but we spotted some good bulls yesterday, so we're gonna try to get on them this morning. So get our shooting equipment, get our shooting irons in a truck, and we're ready to head out this morning. would be a pretty shot. We got two kudu bulls on this hillside and they're not but about 200 yards and they're walking in and out of this brush. They don't think we see them, but it would not be a good day if they were just a little bit bigger. They just, they need another year or two, but they're already 50 inch kudu. So, man, that STW wants to eat right here. found the big bull we're looking for. He's a little over a thousand yards. We're trying to get down the hill to get a good vantage point at him. So last day of kudu hunting because we're fixing to kill one. We spotted a really big kudu bull from up on the mountain. This is a special bull, very, very long bull. So we got the wind in our face. We're just gonna try. Go where we last saw him. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be a long shot. It's gonna be a so quick shot. We're gonna have very, we're gonna be very quick. Alright. I see him right there. Okay. He's done. He's, He's done. done. <laughs> well done, sir. Good job. Good, Good job. job. What a big kudu. What a big kudu. We've had such a great hunt. So many good memories. And this was the last animal on our wish list. And Charles made it. Charles and Tion and Andre and everybody, all the trackers, Soli and everybody, 
just made it happen for us. So much fun, such great animals, and this, this wonderful old kudu bull just rounded out our whole hunt. Just a, a, a great time here, great food, great people, and thank you for everything so much. Alan, thank you very much. <clears throat> um, I was very pleased with the performance of the Makorta custom rifles that you guys make. Um, you know, you always, when people come over here with, with rifles and calibers that we are not used to, uh, you know, you start your safari with a little bit of, of doubt, you know, and, and uh, you and Denise did fantastic. All the animals that you took, uh, beautiful one-shot kills, and, and there wasn't a better way to end this fantastic <laughs> safari by taking this ancient old kudu bull. Absolutely. You know, we're moving towards the end of our winter now, and um, bulls like this lose their condition so quick. Right. Uh, so this was 100% the right animal to take and a beautiful trophy. This one had a real bad heart condition, it looks like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much so, again, my friend. I and thank every, you. everybody, everyone else. Thank every, you very much. Great time, great time. We'll be back. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Precision Hunting TV is also brought to you by Hoff Power Auto and Outdoor Stores, Surge Pro by BioFact Crop Care, Ultimate Antler Deer Feed, and Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue. Hey, Jane's back with Barber Creek Long Range Shooting School. We're gonna talk about truing our velocity, which is really important. If you don't true your velocity and you run a chronograph, you're not getting velocity that includes basically density, altitude, station pressure, temperature, altitude, angle, and even wind for aerodynamic jump. Uh, I know I threw a lot of stuff out there, but it's really important to get a true velocity for your ballistic rangefinder or ballistic program. So first thing I want to do is go ahead and put in the wind speed and it's real important and I need to know the cardinal direction we're facing. So this rangefinder already gives us the cardinal direction because it has a compass built into it. I'm going to range the target and it's a 701 yards and it's basically telling us to dial 12 and three quarter minutes. But before I tell Keith to do that, I need to go into the program, go to environment and make sure it's the wind speed. So Alan, what's the wind speed? I'm gonna call it left, left two and a half. So I'm gonna type in basically two and a half. Now in this case, this rangefinder won't do two and a half, this rangefinder program. So I'm just gonna put it at a three mile an hour wind and I'm gonna sink it. And what it's doing is I'm sinking the wind information to this rangefinder, it needs that for something called aerodynamic jump. All right, once I got that, I'll hit back, go back to my profile. All right, what I'm going to do then is I'm gonna range it like I just did, and it says 702 yards, and I'm gonna tell Keith, give me 12.8 minutes, and give me 1.8 of wind. So Keith's gonna go ahead and take a shot, we're at 700 yards. While he's getting set up, I'll explain. If you can, always true your velocity over 600 yards and then you true it as far as you can before the transonic zone or before the bullet starts to transition from supersonic to subsonic, usually within 10% of transonic. So he's gonna go ahead and shoot at 700 first, which is our initial truing. Let's go ahead, Keith, communicate with your spotter. Ready, send it. One minute right and a quarter minute. So a quarter minute low, so go ahead and dial it up a quarter minute. All right, so what we're gonna do is what's called a ballistic calibration. So I'm gonna make sure the phone's connected and I'm gonna go into my profile and hit calibrate. And it's gonna say, range the target so it gets direction of fire. And then I'm gonna go in here and say, okay, we shot 700 yards, 702 as a matter of fact, and it took us 13 minutes and I'm going to hit calculate and it says our velocity is 2956. So what I would do is hit back, hit save, and then I would sync it. And now it's recreating that profile and sending it into the rangefinder with the true velocity. Now, once we've got it trued at 700, we're gonna now go out to a thousand yards and do the exact same thing. Why a thousand yards? Because again, with this bullet at a 135 grain burger traveling at you know 2900 feet per second right in there it's basically needs to be within that 10 percent of transonic and it is all right we're done going out to a thousand it is going to be 23 and three quarter in elevation three minutes of wind half minute left how's the elevation mm, almost dead on 
Okay, shoot one more and verify. I'm gonna get on. Ready? Wind looks the same, send it. Did it pick up just a little bit right when I said it looked the same? Elevation. Elevation is dead on. Dead on. All right, so we trued our velocity, and like I said, we started off at 2980, and now we're at 2960 is our new velocity. So you can see where truing the velocity really comes into play for long range shooting. Because that difference was about a quarter minute. Was it a quarter minute? Quarter minute, so 2.5 inch different. Doesn't sound like a lot at 1,000 yards, but that's 2.5 inches plus spin drift, plus setup, and plus you as a shooter. It's gonna give you error, get rid of all the error so the only error out there is you so the mechanical error is gone hey that's another downrange shooting tip from james at barber creek thanks for joining us precision hunting tv is also brought to you by borden accuracy trigger tech brooks barrels capstone precision group and hawkins precision this segment of precision hunting tv is brought to you by Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, real Texas barbecue. Our time in South Africa with Infinito Safaris was nothing short of magical. The animals, the scenery, the atmosphere, our very gracious hosts, all were phenomenal. Charles and Erica run a first class operation at Infinito Safaris. Our PHs, Andre and Tion, did a fantastic job. They knew the terrain like no other and put us in the perfect situations to take magnificent trophies. Their entire staff made this a once in a lifetime experience that Alan and I will never forget, but we do plan to try to go back. This is why I came to South Africa. What a gorgeous, gorgeous animal, my kudu. Boy, what, a, what an animal. What a beautiful blessed buck. Good shot. First African animal. Thank you. <laughs> oh. This is the size we wanted. Thank you. Thank you. What a fantastic end to a, just about a whole day of stalking these gims buck. Just a, a, a great time here, great food, great people, and thank you for everything so much. Alan, thank you very much. <laughs> That's my baby. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Man, That's it. What a regal animal. Thank you. Beautiful zebra, well thank done. You. Thank you so much, Infinito Safaris. Beautiful, beautiful animal. South Africa and the beauty this land holds will forever be in my heart. <laughs> Another great hunt. Another great hunt, Infinito Safaris. That's it. Thank Good you. Job. Good Thank job. Good job.
Well, this is the middle of our last day here at Infinito, and we've had such a great hunt, so many good memories. Well said. That's okay, Buffalo. Thank you so much. Fantastic big bull. So thank you so much so, again, my friend. I and thank every, you. everybody, everyone else. Thank really, you very much. Great time, great time. We'll be back. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs>